hi welcome back to my channel well in this video we will try to learn uh, how we can perform the analysis of randomized complete block design utilizing three important libraries that is library agricola library doe by research and agro r uh, so we'll be using a data set that is known as rcbd which is already imported on my r console by means of this option uh, the first column is treatment the second one is the my blocking variable that is replication then we have some continuous variables so in case of rcbd you must uh, make sure that uh, your treatments uh, or we can say the block size is equal to the number of treatment the number of replicates are equal to the number of blocks and this design is only used in case of field conditions and make sure the fertility gradient is already identified and its direction uh, it should be a one directional not in bi-directional it should be moving on in one direction these are some of the conditions so let us proceed i will write the name of my data set that is rcbd so how we can perform the analysis of variance of rcbd utilizing this uh, library agro coli let us click on this run and let us write a o v this is the default uh, function or conventional way to perform the analysis of variance i will be interested to perform the analysis of the first variable that is bd then versus i will write my blocking variable that is rep then the name of these objects of comparison followed by the name of data set that is rcbd let us press on this enter but before pressing this enter let us give a name to this function model then i will write summary the name of this model so we have got an error because of this i will close this bracket and you can see the treatments are four and we have three degrees of freedom because here in case of rcbd the number of blocks the degrees of freedom for blocks is b minus one t minus one and here it is b minus one into t minus one so it is evident from this p value we have to reject the null hypothesis say which says that all these four treatments are same they are not significantly different with respect to this bulk density but this p value is saying is that they are different from each other now we have to perform the post hoc analysis for that what I will do, I will write some names, say for example out and put an assignment operator. Then I will use this default code that is lsd.test which performs the least significant difference. Then I will write the name of this function followed by within these inverted commas, I will write the name of these objects of comparisons and treatments. Then I will write out. Let us see what information we have. The information is that we have got model error. We have got error degrees of freedom and this is very important the critical difference or the least significant difference if i will take the examples of a vegetable and horticulture they are significantly different from each other because the difference between these two means is much larger than this lsd value and the thumb rule is if the difference between two means is greater than this lsd value those treatments are considered to be significantly different otherwise non-significant all these four treatments are significantly different with respect to this the additional information is that we have got means along with them we have got the lower limit and upper limit confidence limit and we have got some positional average also uh, the first quartile second quartile and the third quartile also now let us perform the analysis by means of doe bio research let us click on this run how we can perform for that we have to write this default code that is rcbd this is the name this is the inbuilt function to perform the analysis of variance of rcbd then we have to write the name of our data set rcbd then uh, these square brackets and within that i will write three because i am interested to perform the uh, this analysis of this bd this is my third variable the position of this variable column is three uh, then after that i have to write the name of rcbd the name of my data set then make sure you will write here treatments then uh, again i will write rcbd then i will put this dollar sign and i will press on this then this is very important here i will type one because i am interested to perform the analysis of this and i want to perform the post hoc analysis by means of lsd if i will go to this doe by research and uh, i will click on this uh, rcbd and here you can see if i will write zero it will uh, not perform the post hoc analysis if i will write one it will do a post hoc analysis or multiple comparison by means of least significant difference. if i will write two it will perform duncan's multiple range and if i will write three it will perform the tukey's hsd so we have a lot of options here let us start with this uh, press on the center button 
uh, we are expecting an error here because of the reason rcbd we have forgotten to type comma here so uh, in case of this the anova is same there is no problem in this and we have got the same lsd value uh, the same mean the only additional information is that we have got this shapiro wilk normality test uh, which is non significant in this case uh, that means this assumes a null hypothesis that the errors are normally distributed and here in this case the normality assumption is not violated so the only additional information by means of doe bio research is that we have got we can test the assumptions of normality of errors now let us perform the same data set by means of this uh, library agro r uh, for that uh, let us click on this run so how we can perform so we have to write a default code here default function that is dbc which is used for performing the analysis of randomized complete block design then i will write the name of my objects of comparison then my blocking variable then i have to start with my first variable that is bd then i will write mcomp to perform the multiple comparison analysis then i will put lsd in this then i want to have a plot also this is an additional thing in case of this uh, i will write y lab is equal to the name of say for example i will write bulk density uh, so let us see what we have we have got a graph also let us see one by one so the first thing in case of agro r uh, we have got three things normality of errors homogeneity of variances and independence of errors these are the three important assumptions uh, which we have to check before applying the analysis of variance or performing the analysis of any design whether our errors are normally distributed whether there is a homogeneity of variance of errors whether the errors are independent from each other or there is an existence of no correlation so in all these three uh, assumptions the null hypothesis is the errors are normally distributed there is a homogeneity of variances there is no auto correlation between the consecutive error terms so we might be expecting a non significant p value across all these three things and we have a non significant p value in case of normality in case of homogeneity of error variances and in case of independence of error so we are good to go and we can perform the analysis of variance the analysis of variance table is same uh, which we got in the previous two libraries there is no the only uh, thing is and the post hoc analysis is same uh, if you will see uh, the first one i will show you the first one in case of this agro agri coli uh, this was same in case of agri coli the lsd was 0 0.010 in case of this another the agri uh, this doe bio research the same lsd value and in our in this last one the lsd value is same there is no uh, uh, different thing that uh, we will expect in all these three libraries will get different results the only thing is that in case of agri coli we can get uh, we don't get any uh, uh, additional information apart from anova and post hoc uh, in case of doe by research we can test the normality assumption of errors in case of agro r we can check the assumptions all three three important assumptions and we can get a graphical output but uh, the quite important thing uh, about uh, this uh, library agri coli is that if i will recall it again uh, this is a library agri coli in case of agri coli and in case of agro r we have to perform the analysis of each and every variable individually but in case of doe bio research we can perform the variable analysis of variance of all the variables since the first variable was this third variable or we can say the first variable was at the third column bd 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so i will write here up to 12 it can perform the analysis of all these variables here we have got an error the reason is that we have not put the comma here so it can perform the analysis of each and every variable with one click that is not possible with respect to this library agro r and agri coli this is the only uh, I can say an edge of this library otherwise in all these three libraries uh, you used to get the same outputs you used to get analysis of variance you can do the post hoc analysis but in case of agro r and in case of uh, doe bio research 
uh, you can uh, test the assumptions of normality in case of bio research but in case of agro r you can test the assumptions of uh, uh, errors in context to normality in context to uh, homogeneity of error variance in context to independence or autocorrelation now the choice is yours uh, if you are comfortable in agro coli you are you can perform if you are comfortable with doe by research if you are comfortable agro r the choice is up to you the only thing about this video was to make you aware that uh, we have three libraries uh, we can get this type of outputs in case of uh, analysis of variance in case of assumptions if you are interested to show the assumptions uh, go for agro r if you are only interested to perform the post hoc analysis go for agri coli if you have a large number of variables and you want to perform the analysis of all these variables simultaneously at the same time go for doe biro so the choice is yours uh, but uh, big compliments to all the authors and the maintainers of all these three libraries they have done a wonderful job uh, because these all these three libraries are quietly uh, widely used across agricultural sciences and uh, allied sciences uh, the people who are using uh, these kind of design in their researchers so uh, if you have any questions or queries so please post on the comment section below hope you will like this video thank you very much